when Ms. Baker uh, first learned of, the, uh, of, of what was transpiring last week, not from the police, but from her friends on Facebook and in telephone calls and emails that reporters were looking for her uh, and were camped out at her home. She immediately uh, uh, contacted uh, me. There was never any question about her coming back uh, to face these charges. Ms. Baker returned home last night. Uh, this morning we uh, uh, came back to the district attorney. She went through her processing. Uh, we discussed the bail, and in light of all the factors in this case, we obviously came to an agreement of the uh, $100,000 bond. Everything was arranged so that uh, today's proceeding, thankfully, went very smoothly. And now the court proceedings begin. And Ms. Baker is a wonderful, good-hearted, decent young woman. She has been involved in numerous charities, fundraising. This woman is a compassionate, caring, and uh, uh, a very socially conscious young woman. As I said, I'm not going to discuss any of the allegations, any of the factual allegations, but in this country, when you are arrested and you are indicted and you say at your arraignment, not guilty, that means in this country you are not guilty.